Hey guys and gals, welcome to the Oddstar channel. I'm Glenn. Today I want to do a video, a short video, like an update kind of video for something that I filmed about a year and a half ago and posted here to YouTube on my channel. It was on a TCM issue, transmission control module problem with an 06 Wrangler. So the 05 and 06 Wranglers with the automatic transmission tend to have issues. It's like the P1603, P1604, P0700 codes. And uh, what happens is the transmission shifts really hard and clunky. I know people have been changing out their transmissions, all kinds of crazy things when it's actually just the TCM itself. The module is not separate, it's all part of the PCM. So you have to replace the whole unit and those units are very difficult to come by that work properly. So what I did was um, I tested it. I had my friend who owns the Jeep drive it and I wanna show you in this video today real quick what we did to diagnose it. Now at the time I didn't have an oscilloscope, I do now, but I had talked to Keith over at New Level Auto who gave me some guidance and, and an idea on what to do. And I used this in the video, you'll see this. It's an actual, actually this came out of a Chevy pickup. I think it was for the license plate bulbs that light up the plate. Uh, you know, it was an old one. And what I did was I wired this up and it's just, you know, positive and negative. And I'll show you in the video which connectors I plugged into or which pins I back probed. So I went from the uh, power and the ground side and I just run a circuit to the dashboard with a switch on the, I think, I believe it was the negative side, the ground side. I put a switch in there because this would always be hot and lit up. And the point of the video was, or is to test this, I put it right in the dashboard. So while my buddy's driving, he could turn it on. And if this light was gonna flicker, that means we had a ground or power issue at the TCM and that would definitely throw the trouble code and the, um, you know, the mechanical problems that he was feeling or having with the Jeep. So anyway, that's what this video is all about. You'll see that in there. I just wanted to make it brief and explain it. It may help people diagnose it because the last thing you want to do is go replace a PCM. I mean, anytime you're doing a repair, you should be testing and checking things out and calling the PCM you know, last minute, last deal. It's usually one of the most expensive parts you're gonna buy anyhow. Well, the good news is in about, well, I'm, I'm actually doing a test with that exact vehicle now. In about two weeks, I hope to post a video with the solution to fix this problem. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. And uh, if things go well, so far it is going well, but I wanna make sure 100% that the issue is resolved and uh, you'll be glad to get it done if you've got this problem. Just let it go away, one less headache. So I've got the connectors uh, disconnected from the PCM, all four of them, just so I have slack here to pull this up and, and work on it. What I'm gonna do is remove this back cover so we can go to pin 18, which is ground, and then pin 29 is our positive. So those are the two wires that we're interested in. We'll see their colors. And I'll show, tell you in a second how to get that cover off. But anyway, um, if you need help on how to remove these connectors or take out the PCM, refer to the uh, link in the description where I show that in the other video. But anyway, let me just give you a shot of this pin out in case you, you haven't seen that video and you need to. So here's pin one up in this corner. And um, down here is pin 29 in that corner. So 18 is like over here. And here's 18 for the proof. That's ground. And we come down here to 29, which is right there. And that's our battery positive right there, fused. So to get this cover off here, what you need to do, it's a little tricky without trying to break the tabs, but on the, uh, let me zoom in, I'm gonna give you a good zoom. They're all the same. Um, these little tabs, there's four of them. There's one here and one here. Let me get you a little better view. You can see on top, what you need to do is get a little screwdriver right down in here and in here and put some pressure on the back half of this case. The other two are right here and right here. So you got one, two, three, and four, and you gently pull those back as you're putting pressure on this case here, and this should pop right off. I don't know, I've got this one loose. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. Of course, there's tape on here around this area, right around here, so you'll have to remove that tape first like I did to this one. Let me slide this out. It should come out. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so now I've got access to that. I should have said from the start, disconnect the negative cable from your battery. That's number one. So anyway, right in here, I back probed the 29 pin, which is this red wire. Hopefully you can see that, which is right there. And then, what was it, 18 was our other one. And that's this black with the green trace. So that's what we got right there. And I've got them hooked to this like banana set up here. And it goes to an alligator clip. So our harness that we're gonna put, you know, run from here into the car. I'm gonna run it across here. We'll wire tie it up. There's a hole on this side through the firewall where I'm gonna chase it. Let's show you that. I think it was already open because Mr. Sabotage did some custom wiring right there. So that goes right into the firewall by the you know the floorboard there all right so here's what i done did got the power and ground pins in there or probes or in the connector so i've got the two wires that are coming up here that blue one's the hot one then that red or i'm sorry the red goes into the blue wire the uh ground goes to the black wire back there you probably can't see it too well but anyway i left the wire ties long tied it up along that main harness that goes over there down through the uh, firewall over there. Where, where are we at? Here we go. Back down in there. And then let me take you inside and show you how it looks. So basically just got the two wires that come up down through the bottom here. Got the ground coming up here. And here's a switch I mounted here under this little thing. So this is actually for a two-way, but we just need the one here. So where it says number one, that's our on. Then anyhow, I got the uh, feed wire comes up across the bottom here. Got this little harness action going on. Come up here. Bam, there's our bulb. So when I flip this switch right here, there you go. So now we can monitor the grounds and powers to that TCM. So if this check engine light, and the reason I put the light right there so you can't miss it, check engine lights over here um, if that comes on pops on and we don't see this blink or flash you know go out basically even for a split second then we know that TCM is shot it's, it's internal so that's uh, that's how we're gonna test it so I might put a little little piece of something over here these get a little bit hot so I, I don't want to put electrical tape over it I'll find something like a little black piece of metal just to dim it down a little bit and um, we're rocking and rolling. So the next step is I gotta get my buddy to drive this thing around when the weather's nice and uh, see what he finds out. All right, so that's an easy enough uh, way to test or check the TCM. So if you're watching this video, it's still up, then I definitely have a solution and hopefully you'll be seeing it here in two weeks. I will leave a link to that video down below once it comes out, today's April 19th. 2019 so anyway you have some idea now and uh, fingers crossed it all works out for the best so check out some of my other videos if you get a chance uh, leave me a comment or question down below if you're having some of these TCM issues and I'll see you guys on the next one take it easy